begin with the start of some changes for the forecast. Here's meteorologist John Dawson with a first look. Hello, JD. Yeah, Tom, it's kind of a mix of what's happening right now across our area, but we know tonight we're going to have a front moving through, and that's really going to sort of bring a little bit more of the same conditions for most of us. Downtown Houston right now looking rain free. We've got some clouds out there, and the temperatures are certainly mild or warmer than what we'd expect, but not quite as warm. We don't see the 80s like what we have seen, but look at the showers and some heavy downpours, a little stormy even with some lightning mixed in with this line of storm. This is kind of that generation from the Gulf moisture that's kind of moving in. That's kind of the reason why we have those. And again, these red areas showing those heavy downpours where we're getting a little bit of rain uh, over on the western side of Montgomery County back towards Waller as well. But what we're really watching quite closely, all of us should be at least is this front that's going to be moving through. You can see it's a little bit defined here by this line that's moving through the Dallas area. This will continue to progress to the south. These showers and storms that we have in the Houston area now are going to continue to sort of meander to the north and where those sort of collide is this severe threat possibilities. It's on the low side of things. It's on that one out of five scale that we could have damaging winds, isolated chances for a tornado or even some hail that's large. That's all again centered primarily here in this darker green and we're very much on the edges of that, but I don't think we're going to have a lot of severe weather but the Fox 26 weather app will keep you prepared for that. Go to your favorite app store, get that downloaded. If the National Weather Service has to send any alerts, you'll receive those to your phone. And again, you can kind of manage those and, and we can send you alerts as well, of course, from the Fox 26 Weather Center. This is the future cast. Here's where we are about 10 o'clock tonight. We're still looking at some storms to the north of our viewing area as we move through the overnight hours into the 2 to 3 a.m. time frame, getting a little bit closer down towards Interstate 10 and down downtown Houston and then things really break apart as the sun begins to come up. This front continues to stall. It continues to weaken and that's why we're not confident that south of downtown that we'll see a lot of rain, but we keep the possibilities in there depending on how long that front can hold itself together. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're certainly looking at uh, less rain. We're not expecting a lot of rain in the afternoon and the temperatures somewhat milder and then a stronger front gets here on Tuesday that changes our pattern quite a bit. Instead of having temperatures in the 70s and 80s, we're back down into the 50s and 60s for our high temperatures in the afternoon.